I want to show you what I have done this week so far. At the beginning of the week, I um, um, started the work on, on a new policy for provisioning, a scripting policy. Um, for example, when you run um, VMware-based provisioning, you get notes in your provisioning um, requisition that may contain um, a lot of interfaces. Uh, VMware tools report these inf interfaces and you have no um, yeah, influence in, in which order they appear. For example, if you have a node uh, provisioned with um, Docker running on it, we have also the Docker interfaces appearing um, in this list. And since VMware reports from the lowest numbered interfaces to the highest, um, these Docker interfaces may become your primary interface in the list. So this is a problem. And the idea was to provide an additional um, policy where I can run a Groovy script to alter the requisition data before it got get persisted in the database. Um, I've created here an example. I have two nodes, um, one for the University of uh, Applied Sciences in Fulda and one for the university here in Minneapolis. In the Minneapolis, I have exact this scenario where I have the primary interface set to uh, something yeah, which, which uh, for example, Docker uses 172.16 or 17.0.1, and the interface which I want to be to want to become the primary interface is not um, not managed or so. And the idea here is that I can create here a policy. Script policy. I provide no parameters. Of course, it's based on the um, node data, so I can filter for uh, node labels or something like that. And I provide an, um, a script that will be run for every node. And the scripts will be placed in our etc directory in script policies. And here's an example of what I've done for this demo um, just includes and then I met I, I checked the node label for Fulda um, modify the asset record to include the city I set a custom location monitoring location to Fulda I add a new category service Germany I do the same for the university um, here, set it to Minneapolis, location to Minneapolis, category service US. And for the um, interface part, I iterate over the interfaces and check for the IP address um, that I want to set to secondary and the other one I want to set to primary. So, and when I now... Um, synchronize this requisition. Is this big enough? We have to wait. Perfect. I hit it, right? Synchronize, yes. <coughs> so here, is, here they are. So it's the notes are there, and the scripts 
did not run yet. No. Still not. Did I produce some, some kind of error while I'm here? No. Here we go. So we see this new category is added. The location is set to Minneapolis. And we have also the assets modified. And when we take a look at the database, we see um, that the Docker interface is set to secondary and the other one is set to primary. So, yes. Any questions related? Yeah. You said that it script runs after each node. Yeah. It so compi like asynchronously as if you have a requisition with 100 nodes, does it do them as each node is scanned or does it wait till all of them are finished and then iterate over each node? It's in the sequence when the, the node policy normally runs. It's just like any other policy. It yeah. happens. So it has to be before it's persistent, essentially, or persistent. Exactly. But it's compiled once. And uh, the compiled version is run for every node. So that, that runs on the scan thread or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. And furthermore, I have worked this week on a GNS3 appliance for uh, of OpenMMS. Um, for this, is for example, a small topology in GNS3. We have um, the, the the cloud symbol is always the connection to the real world. In this case, we have uh, an, a network address translation here in place. We have a switch attached, and um, for example. This small con Firefox, including a container uh, inside a container, so we have normal access to the internet, and with this appliance, we can just drop in in our topology an OpenMS instance. We can wire it up to the switch and start it. So, this will take some time till it's up. So here we go, it's, but it's not yet assigned an IP address. Here we go. Now it has an IP address. We can just go here to the browser. And uh, not, not yet. Still starting. Maybe. Uh, Yeah, Grafana is already up. It's a pre-installed Grafana and and the um, Helm application and the um, data sources are in place. So after a few seconds, I think we have also the OpenMS landing page here. Yeah, and with this tool you have the the chance to um, 
create topologies for development or for education, for training or something like that. And you can uh, put your OpenMMS inside. Um, yeah, and use it for to monitor your topologies. Some devices can put Cisco routers inside, iOS images, whatever. So here we go. And you can start configuring your OpenMMS instance in this virtual environment. Very That's nice. pretty much it. Thank you. Any questions? The image is um, decompressed for gig. Yeah. Send OS image with. But I think when you deploy it in a classroom, it's the, the base image is deployed only once. And in the individual student projects, there are only um, incremental stuff stored. Okay.